The successful introduction to a college essay will accomplish two things. First, the introduction will let the reader know what the essay is about. While the title of your essay might give your reader a broad idea about the topic, the introduction will narrow the focus. In most cases, a writer will establish a specific topic in a thesis statement. The thesis often appears at the end of the introductory paragraph. Second, the successful introduction will engage the audience. Like the first paragraph of a good novel or magazine article, the introductory paragraph of a college essay should capture the full attention of your readers and encourage them to read on. Let's consider several different strategies that may help you to engage your readers. A successful introductory paragraph might capture the reader's attention by providing some historical or factual background to the topic that you will pursue in the body of the essay. You might establish the main ideas that you will cover in the essay. An interesting anecdote can help to draw the reader in. Contrasting two aspects of your topic might engage the attention of your audience if your purpose is to focus on one aspect and the introduction with the topic to be discussed in the body of the essay. You might ask a rhetorical question that will be answered in the paragraphs that follow the introduction. Another interesting strategy is to begin your paper with the opinion of an expert. Alternatively, you might cite a surprising fact or statistic to engage the interest of your audience. We are going to take a look at some sample introductions. Please keep in mind that none of these sample introductions includes a thesis statement. A thesis statement would typically come at the end of the introductory paragraph and would present an argument that the essay will defend. These sample introductions simply illustrate the styles of introductions you can use as you lead up to the thesis statement. The following sample introductions would be for an essay that addresses the harmful effects of smoking. Type 1. Provide a brief history or factual background of your topic. The addictive properties and harmful effects of smoking were documented by scholars as early as the 16th century. As scientists gained a better understanding of human anatomy and the active ingredients in cigarette smoke, they were able to draw a clear connection between smoking and various illnesses, including cancer, emphysema, and heart disease. More recently, the U.S. government has taken measures to educate the public about the hazards of smoking. In this introduction, the writer provides some background to a narrative essay about the effects of smoking. Type 2. State the major divisions or main ideas of your paper. Smoking can have harmful effects on the physical, social, and financial health of a habitual smoker. Physically, smoking can lead to cancer and other diseases of the respiratory system. Socially, a smoker may be made to feel unwelcome among non-smokers who try to distance themselves from the smell of cigarettes and the threatening effects of secondhand smoke. Financially, the rising cost of cigarettes can be a drain on the habitual smoker's pocketbook. The writer establishes three main ideas that she will pursue in the body of her essay. Type 3. Offer an interesting anecdote. The plaintiff's father was 14 years old when he first experimented with cigarettes. The year before, a company that sold a variety of tobacco products had run a large marketing campaign targeting teens in the city where he lived. Forty years later, John Watson, an otherwise healthy man who had no genetic predisposition toward the disease, died of lung cancer. His son sued the tobacco company and won. A brief anecdote or story can capture the attention of the reader through the use of concrete details. Type 4. Contrast two aspects or perspectives of the topic. Smokers and non-smokers often disagree about the effects of smoking. While smokers may cite the short-term benefits of increased energy and rapid metabolism, mental sharpness, and a sense of calm associated with smoking, Non-smokers argue that serious health hazards outweigh the rewards. In this introduction, the writer presents both positive and negative effects of smoking. The paragraph might go on to articulate the harmful effects of smoking to be discussed in the body of the essay. Type 5. Ask a question to capture your reader's interest. 
What could tempt a healthy young person to risk a future of chronic disease for the fleeting pleasures of smoking? Some early cigarette manufacturers gave free samples to young people in order to get them started on the habit. Packets of Richmond Gems, a popular brand of cigarette, came with cards depicting sports legends and other celebrities adored by boys. Bull Durham cigarettes offered coupons for dime novels, which were all the rage among teenage boys and girls. While federal regulations now limit the marketing of cigarettes, the tobacco industry still finds ways to encourage smoking among young people, and the effects are as harmful as ever. The writer of this essay about the harmful effects of smoking on young people begins with a question in order to gain and keep the reader's interest. Type 6. Quote an expert. According to U.S. Surgeon General Richard Carmona, the debate is over. The science is clear. Secondhand smoke is not a mere annoyance, but a serious health hazard. While the harmful effects of smoking have been well documented for decades, the health risks of cigarette smoke to non-smokers are only now receiving the attention they deserve. A short quotation, particularly of a noted expert, can help capture the full attention of the reader. In this case, the writer quotes the federal government's chief spokesperson on public health. Type 7. Offer a surprising fact or statistic. Smoking is the direct cause of more than 440,000 deaths each year in the United States, according to medical research published by the National Cancer Institute. While smoking can be fatal to the individual smoker, the financial burden of smoking-related illnesses stretches the resources of the health care system. Each year, the cost of treating illnesses caused by smoking exceeds $75 billion. For a striking first paragraph, the writer of this essay cites statistics about the risks associated with smoking. Common weaknesses of ineffective introductions include the mechanical statement of purpose. In this essay, I will show how smoking can have negative effects on such and such. This plotting or overly deliberate approach sends a negative signal to the audience. If the topic doesn't seem to excite the writer, how can the resulting essay hope to interest the reader? Also avoid dictionary definitions of the topic. If the topic is complex enough to merit a full essay, it probably can't be boiled down to a single defining sentence in the introduction. A defensive statement, I don't know much about the harmful effects of smoking, but will tell the reader that the rest of the essay is not worth reading. Remember, you want to cultivate the reader's interest, not squander it in the first paragraph. Finally, just as builders remove the scaffolding from a building when they've completed a job, a good writer will remove any extraneous material from the introduction to an essay. Long, convoluted introductory statements typically fail to capture the attention of critical readers. Try applying one of the seven strategies for an effective introduction the next time you sit down to start drafting an essay. You may be surprised by how much one of these approaches can bring focus and interest to your introductory paragraph. Think of the introductory paragraph as an opportunity to make a strong first impression on your audience. It's an audition of sorts. You want to get them interested and narrow the focus of your topic. The next time you sit down to start drafting an essay, try applying one of these seven strategies for an effective introduction. You might lead up to the thesis statement with some historical or factual background. or Introduce your main points in the order that they will appear in the essay. You could tell a brief story or anecdote with special relevance to the topic. You might contrast two perspectives or ask a rhetorical question, quote an expert, or cite a surprising fact or statistic. You may be surprised by how much one of these approaches can bring interest and focus to your introductory paragraph.